Okay. So welcome to Greece, first Thank of you. all. Uh, is it the pilot or the plane? In the end? Mm, plane. The plane. No. Trick question. Trick question. All right. Let's introduce ourselves. Could you tell us a bit about your career? Uh, Major Kristen Beowulf, so F 35A demonstration team commander and pilot. I've uh, been in for 12 years, uh, three years of pilot training, then flew the F 22 for three years, and now the F 35. These are coveted positions, right? Uh, I think it's, it's totally different than being in a combat squadron. Um, yeah. So a different lifestyle, different uh, mission set, uh, but it's really rewarding to be able to travel around and show off the airplane. Can you tell us about uh, how did you decide to become a fighter pilot? Yeah, um, I joined the Air Force when I was in college, uh, graduated, went to pilot training, and then um, you know, did my best in flight school to try to get to the top of the class and get to pick which airplane I wanted to fly. Um, but ultimately decided, uh, you know, if I'm qualified to fly fighters and go as fast as I can and do a lot of cool tactics, then that's kind of the path for me. Is it a career which is um, rewarding as far as experience or as far as what comes after that? Because it's, it's a very prestigious position. You, people get to know you, you become someone well known internationally, let's say. Uh, yeah, um, we do this for a couple years, everybody, and then we go back to regular life in the Air Force. Um, so we'll you know, bring in a new team and they'll do the exact same job that we did uh, right after us. So uh, hopefully, luckily nobody notices me on the street, which is nice. I don't think so. Well, that's true. I think it's impossible. <laughs> so far, how is this year regarding the demo program? You come to, to Europe now, which was exciting, right? Absolutely. You know, anytime we can get out of the States and just show off the airplane to different countries that are excited about um, being partners and flying the airplane it's really rewarding for us um, to you know one experience a new country but also to see people excited um, so we have seven shows left uh, this year three of them in Europe and then four back in the States all right uh, how is it now then to be able to fly such a very very complex generation stealth fighter. A lot of capabilities, obviously, that we can't show you exactly on an air show, uh, but we get to show you some of the uh, stealthiness, like where we put our bombs and missiles, um, which feels kind of like a powerful pass, a high-speed pass, right around 700 miles an hour. Uh, so just to show off that raw power uh, of the engine and the airplane is pretty exciting. This is the path the Greek uh, Air Force, the Hellenic Air Force also will be moving on. What would you say to the Greek uh, people and to the Greek pilots who will become, uh, who will become pilots like in your position? They get up on the step of F-35, um, integrating with all the rest of Europe. It'll be uh, really exciting for the Air Force. Such computer power, <laughs> such fusion of data. Is it beneficiary to the fighter pilot, or is it more work to do? Uh, it's absolutely beneficiary. It can be a little overwhelming at times, um, and that's one of the toughest things we teach people is how to process all that information and make decisions as a single seat fighter pilot. Um, it's a little bit different than you know flying right next to your flight lead and you're flying 15, 20 miles away and making your own personal decisions. So it can be uh, a little bit more tasky. If you were to talk about one thing, some are classified of course, which is the main advantage of a fifth generation aircraft, uh, fighter aircraft. Um, what would you say is the number one skill other generations do not have? Uh, it's easily stealth. Um, stealthy against, or stealthy against certain radars, so to be able to get any closer to shoot our missiles, drop our bombs before anybody knows we're there, or maybe before they can even target us and shoot us back, is really important because uh, we are so much more survivable in you know, a 4-ship of F-35s than you would be in maybe a 16-ship of F-16s back in the day. 
So finally, just a message to the Greeks. Will we welcome you all these days here. What would you tell them, the public and the connoisseurs, the fans of aviation? Yeah, um, I would just tell them enjoy the show. You know, um, hopefully the second generation here us describe all the maneuvers that we're doing uh, to know what they're seeing. Uh, but really, it's a 15-minute display of, of air power in the F-35. So uh, I just hope they enjoy it and get excited for their future. Did you research Greece at all? What is it you want to do in Greece apart from the, the demo oh, program? Uh, what is that? It's all the standard tourist things. I see all the sites. Um, so we'll get a little time Monday and Tuesday to, to hang out before we go to our next show. So hopefully we get to go to Athens, uh, eat some good food and uh, enjoy the landscape. Which is the one thing you want to do mostly? One thing? Uh, I mean, go, go to Athens and explore. Uh, Acropolis? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Acropolis? Yes. Right. An F-35 fighter pilot on the Acropolis. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's, that's a very nice picture. Yeah. Thank you very much for coming. For this time, wish you the best in everything in your career. Thank you. Healthy and uh, yeah, all the time. Thank you very much. Appreciate it.